Shalom, Kalalim, La Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhakwadash. Double honor to the head elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom, my dear, give it up, Lord, man. All right. I figured that we've been, since we've been through Second Ezra's, the entire 8th and 9th and 10th chapters, we'll get a more context on the whole book of Ezra. So I decided to go back to the first chapter. Uh, we'll take it from there. All right. So this is another edition of Chapters Matter. And obviously, I'm not getting too much views on these because a lot of you guys that tune in, you're into more of the uh, entertainment. But that's all right. How about Shimei Haushai's will be done? And uh, those that are willing to learn, that are serious minded, well, this is for y'all. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh by Shemuel Hashem by Hashem Rakhakodash. The hell with you fake ass niggas, man. All right. So anyway, without further ado, Second Ezra, chapter one, verse one. The second book of the prophet Ezra, the son of Sarias, the son of Azarias, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Sadamias, the son of Sadak, the son of Akito, the son of Achaeus, the son of Phineas, the son of Heli, the son of Amar Amarias, the son of Ezel, the son of Merimoth, the son of Arna. The son of Uzziah, the son of Boreth, the son of Abisai, the son of Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron of the tribe of Levi, which was captive in the land of the Medes in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of the Persians. So Ezra's line went back to Aaron. He was a Levite. All right, the priest, the priesthood, actually. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children. Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me. There it is. The children of Israel, you know, just like they're doing today. All right, what is the majority of... Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans doing. All right. For they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. Am not I even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage? But they have provoked me unto wrath and despised my counsels. Hold thou off then the hair of thy head and cast all evil upon them. But they have not been obedient to my law, but it is a rebellious people. So the Most High, all right, through the angels telling Ezra to actually put curses on Jake, man. All right, how long shall I forbear them and to whom I have done so much good? Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. All the nations have I destroyed before them. And in the east, I have scattered the people of two provinces, even of Tyrus and Sidon, and have slain all their enemies. Speak thou therefore unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shah, I led you through the sea in the, be in the beginning, gave you a large and safe passage. I gave you Moses for a leader and Aaron for a priest. I gave you light and a pillar of fire and great wonders have I done among you. Yet have you forgotten me, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Thus saith the uh, Almighty Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the quails were as a token to you. I gave you tents for your safeguard. Nevertheless, you murmured them and triumphed not in my name for the destruction of your enemies. But ever to this day, do you yet murmur? Where are the benefits that I have done for you when you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness? Why, I mean, did you not cry unto me? Saying, why hast thou brought us into the, this wilderness to kill us? It had been better for us to have served the Egyptians than to die in this wilderness. Then had I pity upon your mornings and gave you manna to eat. So did you eat angels' bread. When you were thirsty, did I not cleave the rock? And waters flowed out to your fill. For the heat I covered you with leaves of the trees. Come on, man. Ungrateful niggas, man. 